Hi, I'm Imogen for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with the Durham Review. Hi, guys, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah very well, thank very you. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. No problem. So tell me a little bit about your show, Friends Without Benefits. Yeah, it's just because none of us particularly find each other attractive. So at least that. <laughs> attractive at all. So. <laughs> so it means that at least everybody coming to watch knows we're single if they were interested. Just to let you know. Um, but yeah. Not a dating video. <laughs> is that quite a sexually tense show? Um, no, it's not particularly. Not at all. <laughs> no. I mean, our show is really random, so we don't have like a um, a sort of story thread throughout. We just do any sketches that we find amusing, anything we can think of. So our title well, needs to be nice and broad. We don't find amusing. Yeah. As well. we just check them in for filler. Yeah. So there we go. So how do you come up with your sketches? Um, a variety of ways really. Normally we um, write on our own then all come together and have a look at it and change it and act out and stuff like that. But everybody in the group writes. So, I mean, mainly the more years you've been in, the more you write because you get better at it. But yeah, everybody puts their own twist on the show. So that's nice. Often the best ones are written when we just come up with an idea and mm. then just riff at rehearsals on that. Like that's often how we get our best full group sketches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, working with each other and just like bouncing off each other and having fun in rehearsal, mm -hmm. which is so nice. Is it quite a nice atmosphere in rehearsals? You'd never say that sketch was awful, like. Oh no, we say that a lot, yeah. like that. Yeah, that some happens real a lot. Turkeys over there. Yeah. I don't know because I've written most of them. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, some dreadful stuff comes out, but it's also that's quite nice, really, <laughs> because then at least we can all laugh together. Like someone brings in a dreadful sketch, we all laugh a lot, and then something good comes from it. I mean, we had a sketch about penguins last year that started off. Awful. I mean, terrible. Yeah, I think really a penguin awful. threw up in a penguin's mouth, <laughs> and it was really bad. But we took the idea of penguins, and then it became one of our favourite sketches. So it does. Sometimes it's nice to get something that's a little bit dreadful, so that you can make it good. <laughs> so how many people are in the Durham Review, and have you two performed with the Review before in Edinburgh? Um, yeah, this is my third year, and um, it's Algon's second. My second year, yeah. and I'll be doing my third year next year as well. Yeah, because I've just graduated, so I'll be done now. But um, there's currently five of us at Edinburgh, um, and there's sort of be seven us, seven of us throughout the year, and then whoever can come to Edinburgh comes up. So it's quite a small, intimate group, which is nice. So are you supportive of other sketch comedy groups from universities or is there competition? Do you go and support all the other groups? Oh no, definitely. Like we, um, I think it's both really. I think we're all competitive without even realising it, but we love going to see the other ones. I mean, we perform so with Oxford and Cambridge. It's a friendly rivalry. Yeah. yeah. Like we go to Oxford and Cambridge and perform there and then every year we try and catch like the Bristol Reunions, Leeds Tea Lights, etc. Like UCL going to Greatest yeah, as well. St Andrews as well. So it's really nice to see what they're doing. And cause we're all very different. Like in our own ways, so it is nice to go and watch them and see what they've come up with and be like, oh God, they were so much better this year. <laughs> like we're, we're quite close to the Oxford Review this year because yeah. they're on immediately after us in our venue. So we always see each other at the venue, which is nice. Mm. We had them around for drinks recently, which is <laughs> lovely. Oh, amazing. So what have you been joining about the Fringe so far? Um, the Abattoir Bar, that is, a, yeah, just yeah, that. Excellent, so great. Makes us feel important. <laughs> and um, the shows as well, we've been seeing some amazing stuff. We saw a circus show. Circle on the camera. Oh, that's the erotic one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It was. It that's was. Why she, that's what she liked. That's what she liked. It. <laughs> but no, the shows especially. Like, I love coming up and seeing things, especially some of the free stuff. Yeah, my God, yeah. Amazing. And you guys are performing in Cowgate. How's that? Because it's such a great venue, and you obviously get a really great pass. Yeah. Oh no, we love the we love the Underbelly and performing there, especially the venue we're in this year. It's sort of like a long cave, which is nice because last year we were in a venue that the roof tilted, and we had a boy who was six foot eight, six foot eight. Yeah, and he couldn't stand up on stage properly, so he had to hunch the whole time. So, yeah, it was, it was like four rows of thirty, so it was just really weird. Whereas yeah. this year's. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a great venue, the Underbelly. We get to see so much good stuff for free, which is amazing. <laughs> so, what comedians inspire you as comedians? Um, I mean, I, a lot of people have always said Dawn French for me, which I think is a compliment. I, She's funny. Yeah, it's a very funny woman. And it's got nothing to do with the way you look. No, nothing at all. And um, yeah, no, I love her. I think she's great. Also, other sketch troops. So, like people like Wit Tank, we love going to see to see what they're doing and try and get inspiration from them. People like Late Night Gimp Fight, although we're not at all naughty, we love going to see them to see how they're pushing sort of sketch comedy boundaries and stuff like that. Then what about you? Who do you like? Um, well, as Stephanie knows, I love a good cheesy pun. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of Milton Jones, Tim Vine. Mm. They're my favorites. Yeah. I love good old fashioned jokes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it really. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to us. Where can we catch the Durham Review? Uh, we're on at two o'clock in the Underbelly Cowgate, um, which is a lovely venue and they have some lovely bars. So do come along and we're on every day for the rest of the festival. Okay, and I'm just going to try and put you off. Describe your show in one look. 
great. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.